What's going on YouTube? It is currently Saturday morning, about 6.03 a.m. I am up, gotta go to work, but today I'll be taking you guys through a full day of eating and kind of showing you guys what I do today. Today's actually a rest day for me. I've been going on for about two weeks straight um, in terms of like workouts and everything, so I think it's time for a rest day. I'll go into more depth on why I did that later on, but I'm gonna take you guys along and uh, show you guys what I eat. I'm eating about 2,100 calories today, so you'll see I'm getting down pretty deep into my cut because I was eating over 3,000 for my bulk. So it's not gonna be easy, but I did not eat breakfast. I'll be fasting until about noon or so. So that makes it a little bit easier and I'll talk more about that later. But here we go guys, enjoy the day. So I got some strawberries, blueberries, Kodiak protein pancakes, sugar-free syrup, and two eggs. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna make about two servings of the Kodiak cakes, which is gonna be about 400 calories. I'm gonna have the two eggs, which is gonna be 150. Um, and then I'll see maybe some strawberry. I might count 50 for the fruits. So it's gonna be, you know, 700 calorie breakfast, and then I should be good to go. It should fill me up, and I should be good for at least a few more hours. Code, how's it going, buddy? No. You're a good girl. All right, so breakfast is made. We got those three massive pancakes. Take a look at that. Strawberries, blueberries. We're gonna drink a ton of water, and I actually added some egg whites to the eggs. So I'm gonna call it about 750 calories, about 50 protein, and probably about 10 fat or so, and looking at 60, probably almost 100 carbs um, in this meal. So I'm gonna eat this, and I should be good for a while, guys, and I'll let you know what I eat next. All right, guys, so we ended up deciding to go to the beach today. It's about 11 o'clock. Um, it's like a beach in Connecticut shoreline, so it's not that far away. And so I'm gonna pack a couple things. I'm only gonna be there for like about five, six hours, so I'm hopefully not gonna eat too much. But what I got here is protein bar from Kirkland I get at Costco. 200, it's 190 calories, 20 grams of protein, 15 fiber, one gram of sugar. These are so good. Chocolate chip cookie dough, so good. I also got the chocolate brownie version just in case I want to. And on top of that, packing a Belvita. These are 230 calories. They actually do, like it says, it provides four hours of steady energy. Like it actually, to me, like it does provide a decent amount of energy. And so like, I'm, Pretty content with having just these, and I should be fine. So I'll let you guys know what I decide to do, and uh, next video will be at the beach.
right, so at the beach, had one of these protein bars, 200 calories. I'm gonna have one more. It's about five o'clock, and I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna eat for dinner. After that, All right, so for dinner, we got about five ounces of shredded rotisserie chicken, about 150 calories worth of sweet potatoes, a little bit of a pork chop, and some mac and cheese. I'm counting these as 100 each, rough estimate. This is 250, this is 150, so I'm saying 600 calories for this, and then I top it off with some Frank's hot sauce. And that will be dinner for now. All right, guys, so I wanted to give you a little bit of a quick physique update. Now, I literally just ate dinner. I'm full from that whole meal. But here's what we're looking at. Uh, just weighed myself at 170.4 pounds, which after a meal, a ton of water is pretty good because I usually lose about three pounds overnight by the time I wake up in the morning. That's the weight that I count. So I wake up, go to the bathroom, and then I weigh myself. So if I'm 170 right now at night, usually by morning, I'm going to be looking at about 167, which would be tomorrow, would be a new low weigh-in. So that would be really cool, but um, currently at 1,800 calories, if you've been keeping track. Um, getting up around 150 protein, um, something like that. Honestly, my whole like philosophy on the protein is as long as I get close to one gram a day, I mean one gram per pound of body weight, so if I get close to 170, I'm fine. So i got 300 calories left. Save some room for dessert. So I'm eating 2,100 calories, which is like pretty low for me because when I'm bulking, I'm eating 3,000. But it feels like with the intermittent fasting and not eating and then eating these bigger or these protein bars that kind of keep me going throughout the day. But then these bigger meals, like I feel like these filling meals because the pancakes are filling and this meal is pretty big and filling. I drink a ton of water. It really keeps me sane and keeps me going. So it makes it kind of effortless to be honest with you. There's cravings and stuff, but when you're keeping track of your own meals and you're at home and you're doing your thing, um, it really can be effortless and that's how I'm feeling right now. So I still got 300 calories left to play with and I will let you guys know what I eat the rest of the night. So last meal today, a little bit of dessert. We have some popcorn and then a little bit of this Ben and Jerry's PB dough ice cream. It is 160 calories per serving. There are four servings per pint, not eating the whole pint, but top it off around 21, 2200 calories for the day. So it's, as you guys can see, pretty rough estimates, but that's what I pretty much do on this cut. Nothing super strict, but that's all I need for today. All right, guys, so that wraps up this full day of eating. Um, a couple of notes just to kind of let you guys know what I did and you know, why. So essentially the intermittent fasting, it's not like a strict thing. I'm not doing it for specific purposes or whatever in terms of hormone balance, whatever. All You can go into the data and look it up online. I'm not really doing it for that purpose. My purpose is to essentially, it essentially puts me you know, in a, it, it makes it easier for me to hit a deficit for the day because if I'm not, if I wake up and eat, you know, I'm going to get hungry sooner, you know, so if I don't eat till 11, 12 o'clock, you know, your feeding window from let's say 12 o'clock until, you know, about midnight, 12 o'clock is 12 hours rather than if you get up at eight and eat at eight until 12, you know, that's a lot bigger window. So there's more chances for you to get hungry. There's more chances for you to eat stuff and then go over your calories. So my maintenance that I found is around 26, 2700. I am pretty active with working outside and stuff and walking around. For example, today was a fairly active day for me. Did a lot of walking and uh, outdoor work. So, you know, maybe I can eat a little bit more, but 2200 calories is approximately where I'm at. About 160, 70 protein if you factor it all in. Um, I don't really know exactly the carbs and fats. I don't really care too much about that. I keep my fats pretty low uh, and I keep my carbs fairly high. And um, they kind of fluctuate certain days. I'll have higher fat foods. 
Certain days I'll have lower fat foods, more carbs, but that's really what I'm doing. Got two more weeks on this cut and then I'll be at my final form. So final little physique update, a little bit of sunburn today, but that's what we're looking at right now. It's not my most lean physique ever. We still got two weeks though. So we're gonna be on that cardio grind and dialing in these macros the last two weeks. But thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We got a bunch more coming and definitely stay tuned because there will be a transformation video from this entire cut and actually a three-year transformation fitness video overall that I'll be putting out in the next few weeks once I finish this cut. Stay tuned guys and thank you for watching.